once again, beginning a new hunt week, and we're beginning it here at the Bristol, Virginia Walmart. Had a great weekend finding some cool stuff, so let's get in here and see if it continues. Let's start another week. What have we got here this morning? That thing looks cool. Look at the head on this thing. Oops, I'm gonna knock stuff off. Who is this? Predacon Inferno. <laughs> That's a big ant. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. We got, like I said, every junk heap I find, the dude's obviously living up to his name. His box is junk. There is Ratchet. Um, this looks different too. Jawbreaker. I don't know if any of that stuff is new, but it looks new to me. Dang it. What else we got down through here? Mutant Mayhem stuff. And Mutant Mayhem stuff is thick here. Look at that. The Fallen Sludge back there behind him. There's a big Optimus down there. Optimus Prime with a lion in his chest. I thought that Mega Mutant had clearance. I can't remember. Oh, we got some movie turtles there. Donnie, Leo, and Mikey hanging out in the ground. Pizza tossers. What do we got for retro? Genghis, Genghis, Genghis. Uh, nothing really exciting there. There's Murdoch. MJ, MJ. Got some older legends back there. Still got some Spider-Man carded figures hanging out. There's X-Men 97. They had a bunch of those here the other day. They must have sold. Well, I mean, obviously they sold when they're gone, but like I said, they had, I know they had a few bishops, I was thinking. Um, don't see anything else. Siren's still hanging out strong. And Darwin, the X-Men Bonebreaker wave. Once again, if you can score that wave at a good price, I recommend the Build-A-Figure on that for Bonebreaker is awesome. Uh, there's a Batwing and Dark Knights of Steel. Older superpowers. We can already see there they don't have Robin. Which is sad making. There's another Magneto hanging out here. There you go, Magneto. I can't, that one peg warmed. Uh, that was not the one I would have picked for a peg warmer out of that wave. But one of those things you got to realize is because I like the figure, I like the character. Doesn't mean everybody does. Uh, Invisible Jet, Robin, Black Lightning, the Batmobile. Let's see what we got here. Black Lightning, Black Lightning, and Black Lightning. Blue and Gray Hush. I saw another one of those sitting somewhere. All right, here. I still like that figure, but I gotta admit, the green one's better than the green one. Huh, I saw the ring and fees me there, but the blue and gray one, to me, is the stronger of those two. Uh, Black Lightning, there's a vampire green lantern still hanging out. Some Blackest Night figures, another Black Lightning down there, some of the clearance flash stuff. More Blackest Night. And some Black Series. That's a cool looking figure. I don't know who the character, Maroc, but and a bunch of moss men hanging out. Big stack of Eddie Kingsons. Ezra's man, I got a bunch of Ezra. Um let's see. Austin Theory. I'm pretty sure there was a chase of him, but I don't recall what it looked like. I think he had like all blue or something on. I don't remember. I like the Undertaker. Honestly, that's not a bad-looking Roman Reigns figure. Uh, macho Man, Macho Rock, Rick Rude. Ah, uh, Rick Rude. I was always a fan of Rick Rude back in the day. Sad that he passed away. There's Scrap Iron hanging out down there. Still got some of him. Or one of him. Um, there is our... Lady J's and Crimson Guards down to one shipwreck. What else we got down through here? Yeah, video game stuff. There's Diddy Kong, Peach, Troopers, Among Us. So this little guy right here is cool. I got that. That's just, actually this is my nightstand at the house. I was disappointed when I first got it because it didn't glow very well. It was just it was my it was operator error. I didn't let him charge up enough. After he sat under the lights for a couple of days, he glows pretty good. Poppy Playtime. You got Huggy Wuggy, face changing Huggy Wuggy. This little creepy looking Huggy Wuggy. Bunzo. I don't see these figures like I used to. Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't see a whole lot of Five Nights at Freddy's. 
at least like they were showing up. Come to think, I think I messed up last night and called Huggy Wuggy and Bunzo Five Nights at Freddy's when I was on Yankin' with Yukon. Overlook me, guys. I like that stuff, but I'm not an expert on it. All right, that's going to do it for action figures. Let's head over to die casts and Legos and all that. If I find anything else in here, I'll let you see it. If not, we'll see you at Target a little bit later this morning. What's Diecast got for us this morning? There is a You Lying Sack game getting ready to fall through there. I don't know if I can push that back up there for him or not. Uh, oh, the AMC Gremlin a Pacer. That looks like Gar's car from Wayne's World. If that had Wayne's World card on, that would be a definite purchase. <laughs> 007, Trivial Pursuit. Johnny Lightning, another good diecast company, in my opinion. Oh, they got some of the new M2s. Mercury Cougar Eliminator. There's that little Ford truck. I looked at a few times. I actually have this one. And I got that Challenger, too. I think that's the one, too, I bought. Uh, let's move that. Somebody's already went through. Bazooka Joe. Uh, there's Bigfoot. I got some more. Yeah, First Blood. Uh, Enforcer. That Big Daddy Power Man. No, that's not what it is. Mopar Magic. My bad. I'm getting names wrong here. Overtime. Okay. What else we got? Some of the Coca-Cola cars. I've always heard of Coca-Cola cars. Once they go leave shells, end up being super valuable. I don't know if that's true. All red tops on our Star Wars. Bunch of stuff up here. Some Fast and the Furious. What else they got there? It's like some 100-year Disneys. Uh, that Star Wars thing's been up there for a while. Actually, the Millennium Falcon was up there with it. They put it down on the shelves. Don't see anything else too exciting there. Nothing new down there. Or nothing new to me. Stuff I have been seeing before. Uh, Monster Jam, still kind of scarce. Three of the Alien Invasion one. Still got to find the newest chase of the Grease Trap. I think it's Series 33. And it looks like Hot Wheels looking a little picked over but that is going to do it for this section guys we're gonna go check out some die or not die cast we've already checked out die cast i'm speaking of which we'll die cast there but we are going to head back now and take a look at uh, collectors i see anything there i'll show it to you if not i'll see you at the next one looks like they have had a little bit of a NECA restock here i don't remember if they had the bride and then the casey jones phantom figure this thing's cool that thing looks pretty cool I could have made it Jason Voorhees goalie or something. There's the mummy. I was actually toward the little Velcro piece of him. Supergirl, Dr. Fate, Soul Crusher. I've got the Foot Clan down there. That black and white turtle four pack. Oh, they got Shredder. That's not a bad looking Shredder figure. A limited edition collector's card. Hey, $21.97 here for those. Uh, Cobra Commander, Snake Eyes, three and three quarter reaction. Pops, not seeing anything cool really standing out. A whole bunch of the Princess Carols from the Marvels. And those TVs are loud. Got some Hell Shredders over here. Okay, I think that's going to wrap this one up, guys. If I do find anything else, I'm going to walk through the clearance aisle before I leave. Anything there, I'll let you see that. But once again, if not, I'll see you at the next. All right, ladies and gents, let's run into the good old Bristol Target here. See if they got anything on the pegs for us. Animal Man, Red Tornado, and all that good stuff should be out now. So let's run in here, see if they got it. Well, it didn't take long for all the new stuff to clear out. <laughs> There's not much left here on the wrestling aisle on the Transformers and Pokotons shaking for some reason. I've heard these are starting to hit clearance in some places. The Imperial Shuttle, that's on clearance at Walmart. I'm assuming those are all old ones. Yeah. Still got a couple of Landos hanging out. There's one new figure. Or newer. And all, almost all the Godzilla and Kong stuff. You got a Battle Roar Scar King there in that mask. 
It looks like everything that's left, man, they were loaded here uh, when I was here on Friday. But all of that has been wiped out. Got some of the Jurassic Park stuff or some Amber or Hammond collection. The Diamond John and Owen Grady. That's new as well, I think. But yeah, everything's pretty much already been picked over, it looks like. Uh, some Mario stuff over here. Donkey Kong. It's showing 44 bucks on the tag. I know that's not right. Let's pop over here and check the die cast aisle. There's just a stock cart. I don't see anything on it worth a crap. Uh, Hot Wheels, got they've been picked over as well. Doesn't look like they've gotten very much today. Let's see if they got any Series 33. 30, 32, 32, 32, 31 back there. But it is not the chase. The 18 T2 cop car. Don't see much else. Well, anything left in clearance? Uh, this is the Aquaman. He should be $5.99 by now. All the G.I. Joe's going to here pretty quick. $4.19, $7.49 for Agatha. $2.99 for all these page punchers. Aquaman, Lex Luthor. Not anything too exciting there. He should be down to $5.99 now. But I'm not going to scan him. It's not a figure that I want. He's still showing $9.99 though. You know, all the G.I. Joes. There's a Viper leg up there, but she's not on clearance. That was there the other day, and I scanned it to make sure. <laughs> all right, anything on these end caps? Let's take a stroll up here to the action figure aisle. Let's see if we can get down it now. I still got the Hulk and Thanos figures here on the end cap. Those little new Avengers things. I can already see they don't have the new Target exclusives. They don't have any more things in Legends. Uh, they do have Ecto-1 now. Let's see. Uh, Dark Knights of Steel, Batman. Joker, Signals. Batwing. Black Manta, that's pretty cool. Man, it's being so hot on Friday. This place kind of sucks today. Here's that Batman there. Batman Bane set, and you got the Proton Blaster, the Hulk hands. They have restocked Copperhead Python Patrol. Let's get us a picture of the Ecto-1. That's kind of cool. That doesn't look too bad. So we got our Superman 2-pack. They got up here now. They got Thor, Hulk, Iron Man, and Sam Wilson, Thanos, and Hulk, Sam Wilson. Uh oh, now these things twelve ninety nine for these. Oh, I think these Avenger. I bet those are nine ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Well, I don't know what. I think Thanos and Hulk are twelve ninety nine. I bet. And those are nine ninety nine. I don't. I don't know how they're priced. Here's the one Iron Man. They had the Iron Man in cap. Still got them and those little sets. Uh, there's the Venom, the green Venom. A bunch of MJs. Still got a Venom Space Knight 2 pack. Mark II Iron Man is left. And what we got over here? There's a Poppy Playtime. Looks like a Titan Hero. new stuff come in but it did not last it's gone rainbow friends brookhaven i haven't seen that stuff before tower of hell i don't know what that is ninja legends if that's something new and exciting guys let me know i don't recognize that stuff Okay, there's Donkey Kong for correct price tag. He's on one of those for $44, 20 bucks. Alrighty, let's journey down the Lego aisle. See what they got there. 
Uh, nothing much over here. Chrysanthemum, Lando's. I got the bonsai tree. The Concord. That's pretty cool. Might be some thumbnail fodder. Uh, this like a while still kind of wiped out. They've gotten a few more things in the city set there. Just somebody brought that over from the other side. Mm. Sonic sets are new. Wolverine's Claw. They got the new Max there. The overpriced eggs jet. Anything down here? There's another Concord land there. Darth Vader helmet. <laughs> We recognize anything new in that either. I know the one time people were saying that was hard to find. Don't know if it still is. Take a look at our end cap. Let's see, you got the spaceman. Some of the space sets there. Minecraft. Some of the new city at Space Modular Space Station is cool. Ten ninety seven pieces for hundred and nine dollars. That's not terrible. Van Crane Rover, that thing is cool as well. Oh, there's a launch pad, 134, 1400 pieces. A bunch of the new little sets there. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this place. Let's go over and check collectors. If anything is there, I will show it to you. If there's not, then I'll see you at the next one. Well, we struck out most places today. So let's run in books a million here in Johnson City. Let's see if they might have anything for us back here in the toys. Let's see what they got. Sadly, this painting here, they do have abyss still still four of him that haven't sold but they haven't restocked the mcfarland here in a while still got the lord superman down there um still got batman three of him from oops I just took out whatever that is batman and robin the freeze build a figure wave they got mr clooney and all kinds of indiana jones figures sala marion three indies there from cairo Rene Bullock, Bill Bullock, whatever it is. Get a picture of Clooney. Gotta have thumbnail fodder. It's been slow so far this week, guys. There's an Invincible. Glad the Impaler sent me that. Thank you very much for that, sir. Uh, Demon Slayer, some anime stuff. Uh, best Action Turtles. I saw this last Ronin, unarmored, armored, 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 armored. Oh, there's the Shredder. The Shredder is awesome. I just saw him in Walmart. I don't remember when. For 22 bucks. How much is he here? I bet $26.99. No, $24.99. Okay. So I'm about the usual, about $3 more. Uh, let's see. See anything back here? So got the big thing of Marvel Legends back here. There's some older. I don't want be anything over here for the new, but ooh, bumped into those mugs. Uh, Flash stuff. These are actually TV show. It's movie. There's, I know they won't have a Bat or a Keaton Batman, but you never know. We might get lucky and cover something. Older legends. Got one more section of McFarlane here. Let's see if we got any collector's editions. Someone finally got Sinestro. He hung back here forever. Nah, this is all older stuff. The Aquaman's the newest thing. Uh, over here, got the small X Men. Got Clea there from the Marvel Knights wave. Some of the old X Men wave there. The Child Build a figure. Groot and Storm, Photon. Yep, I'm not seeing much in here, guys. We're going to head out. If I do see anything else, I will show it to you. If I don't, then I'll see you at the next one. We're all stressed for less. Let's run in here and see what you might have for us this evening. Hopefully for some restocks. Here we are. This is the only thing I think they didn't have last time. And then they got a fire starter. But everything else, you got these Transformers. Uh, you got the Sonic thing here. Not much else going on here, so let's go head to the back and see if they got anything left back here on the wall for us. Peg wall is looking a little sad. <laughs> There's some Gundam things. I don't think I've seen those things here before. If I do, I don't remember. 
may have been during the rush and there's no price on it it's been kind of oh there it is five bucks oh i could put the camera on it five bucks one of the monster hunter mech strike things doom black panther and cap and some mario stuff there nabbit and mario and a dino the officer if it spits out the ink that kills dennis nedry Fast and the Furious, remote control car, got the 18 wheeler from Fortnite, Jacanato sources. He has been here every time I, I've been here the last little while. Hands have come loose, so I hate when they do that. I make fall on stuff. The accessories come loose in the pack. It aggravates the man collects. Okay, what else we got? Mario sets. Still got Power Ranger swords. I think those things are kind of like um, Landos and Walmarts and Targets. They're always going to be a Ross. And these are new things that are showing up. These race reverse. I think they're like 30 bucks. $26.99. These are cool. Man, who doesn't look like a race a car track there? Those are fun. Nerf stuff, Nerf guns, some Sonic, and some skateboards. But kind of slim pickings tonight, everybody. We got some stuff on the end cap here. We're going to see what's there. And then we'll check this back side of this aisle just in case we won't put any stragglers over here. The army stuff, Lola's, some Mario, and don't see anything else down through there. But if I happen to find anything on my way to the registers, I will show it to you. If not, then I will see you at the next. Here we are, a beautiful rainy day in Bristol. I'm going to run into Target and see if they have any good stuff for us today. So let's get in. Let's have a look. Okay, let's take a look here. Let's just go ahead and skip to the stuff we saw. They got two of them sitting waiting on me, I guess, because right here, well, there on the shelf, too, we have got the new Target exclusive gold label Animal Man. Looks a lot better in person than it did online. And then we've got Red Tornado. Look at that. Red Tornado, I think, looks great. Awesome to see those. Don't see anything else new in multiverse, but if we come on down here, we've got Ray. So they've restocked some of these two rays and the Egon there in the Ghostbusters Fright features. So that's pretty cool. And then coming down here, we got some more good stuff. Look at Mutt and Junkyard here in the window packaging. Is that not beautiful? Check that out. New G.I. Joe classified. It actually looks really good. I'm sure yeah, it's 45 bucks. I don't think we'll catch that on clearance. They usually don't last that long, but that's what we're going to look for. And then down here, we've got some stealth. Suit Captain America from the Winter Soldier. Seen that at GameStop a while back. That looks awesome. They got some restock on Spider-Man and still got Iron, the two Iron Men there. Let's see what's behind there. Yep, another Iron Man. So I think we're going to add this on to footage. That I'm going to do for tomorrow's video. But yeah, we got some restocks here this morning. Awesome. I finally got Animal Man, Red Tornado, got Ray, and got some Mutt and Junkyard. So check your targets. New stuff still hitting. All right, some more stuff here new this morning. We got Jimmy Hart now, and we got the Iron Sheik. So now they had Hogan and Andre the other day. They sold out of them. Now they got the Sheik and they got Jimmy Hart. So still seeing some new stuff here this morning. Let's just shimmy down the aisle. See if they got anything else in. Um, don't see any more than mutating turtles. They haven't restocked those yet. Dinos, I can't tell you if this is restocks or not. I don't think they had this much the other day. They have not restocked the Godzilla and Kong stuff yet. They got the one um, Scar King there, but... All right, let's get over to Collectors now and see if they got anything cool for us over there. Here we go, people. Let's see if we can go three for three. Target had good stuff. Let's run into Ross here and see if they might have anything for us to look at. Well, as you can see, we don't have a whole lot to choose from here. Those tool sets down there are new. They didn't have those last time I was here. And maybe the Sonic cars. We got one Zaymont left. They had like six of him in here the other day. Still got some statues, some of the army sets. Over here we have got, I thought they got this guy marked down to $6.99. I don't know what he was before, maybe $8.99? Don't know. There's a couple more marked down, My Hero Academia. There's another Zaymont. But yep, it looks like about it. Let's check by the register, see if they got anything there. Alrighty, you can't see it, and it's raining in my eyes, so I can't tell what I got the camera pointing at, but 
we're here at Books of Million in Bristol. Let's head in here, see what we can find. Let's see what we got. Right off the bat, I can see they got a Robin to go with the Batman figures. Well, there's another Robin. So two Batman and a Robin. Oh, look down here. We have got Poison Ivy and Batgirl. So the good news is they got some McFarlane. The bad news is they didn't get any collector's editions because that's where they would be. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll track those things down eventually. Let's we'll see what we got back here. Um, Anti-Monitor, Ultron, nothing really there. Uh, some more Batman and Robin back here. Three more Batman figures here. They got a lot of the Clooney Batman at the store. But don't see any collector's editions. We'll check back for those a little bit later. Let's see what they got on the rest of this little end cap. Uh, some anime stuff. Batman and Sabak. Still got a Croc Master there, Reaper. In a way, I'm kind of glad they don't have those collector's editions because I parked far away and it is pouring rain. And they don't get bags out here anymore, which means I have to try to get down there in the pouring rain that I get my fingers wet. <laughs> uh, over here, Best Action Turtles, a pizza cutter. You got the Shredder. Shredder, that thing right there is pretty cool. How much is this thing? Um, 25 bucks. We might use that for a thumbnail picture. That's pretty cool. I am Groot. Witcher stuff, some McFarlane dragons. That's pretty cool. And let's check out our last little section here. I gotta admit, I was kind of hoping there might be some McFarlane stuck over here. But we'll check back here in a couple of days. They did get some new the Batman Robin figures again. So maybe the collector's editions are coming. If I do see anything else here, I'll let you see it. If not, I'll see you the next stop. Bristol Walmart here in the Tennessee side of the state. Let's run in here and see what they got. Once again, that's one of my better Walmarts I've hunted over the last little while, so let's see if they got any good stuff. Start back here with the Pokemon cards. I got a decent amount here. I got some Poppy Playtime. Same little figure have been seeing everywhere. Poppy or Huggy and Poppy. And I think they have that weird looking rabbit. What else we got? Got some. Lady J's up there. Mario movie figs. There's Donkey Kong. Um, Donkey and Diddy. And I got a Zelda figure back there. Mario and a Koopa. What else we got? All kinds of Joes, but are they all going to be Shipwreck, Lady J, and Baroness? So nothing too exciting there. Still got a bunch of scrap iron. Oh, they got some of the new... Oh, there's some more of them. Saw the whole wave of these. Two boxes of it. In the Kingsport, Tennessee. They had Paul Bear, but they didn't have the, uh, the chase. Anything good in these? None of the new ones. Here we got some more. We got Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, another Sammy, uh, Roxanne Perez, and there is Chad Gable. They call him like Shorty Gable or something at one point. And a lot of his fans that I'm friends with used to complain that they were kind of embarrassing him or something. I don't know. Ultimate Warrior from WCW. Alexa Bliss. There's one of the newer ones. They don't have Angle or Lashley. I'm thinking the last time I was here they had those two. There's Hook. That's one of the newer ones. I think Thunder Rosa. I think this guy, I can't remember if it's who that is, Pentagon or Penta L Zero M. That's a cool man, look at his. That's kind of creepy. Kind of cool looking though. Series 7. I don't know what series. Our series 8. So I guess that's an older one. Wait, Unrivaled, Unmatched. I wonder if those are different. Uh, Jericho's. Eh. Same old, same old and all that. Anything up top worth looking at? Some big old stack of old superpowers. Uh, no superpowers. Now, I'm thinking about trying to find the gold or see if we had the gold labels here, but 
I have never seen Walmart exclusive McFarlane here. So I don't know if they just don't get them or what the deal is, really. There's a Whirly Bat. And then they got the Batmobile and the Jet. And some clearance down there on Vader, it looks like. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, look there. Still got a Nightfall. Let's take a picture of that. What's behind him? Gordon is Batman. And there's the... And I haven't found that thing. Of course, the way these figures seem to move here. Batwing. There's another Nightfall. That's probably the same platinum that was here last time. Because they've had those Nightfall Batman figures forever. Up there's a Hush. And then a Darkest Night. Or Blackest Night. I'm sorry, Blackest Night Batman. Now the Flash figures down to four bucks here. They're five fifty, but everywhere else you see them. Um, Marvel Legends, come with the same stuff they've had here forever. Still got Strucker and Ultron, that's the two that I'm interested in, but... Don't know if we'll be picking those up or not. I got Hulk, Raph, Genghis, Turtles game is kind of weak this morning. I see Sludge up there, a whole bunch of big old stack of ratchets. There's the War for Cybertron, Optimus Prime, Fallen... And not seeing too much sexy in the world of Transformers. Let's go in here and glance at the Lego. See what we got. What we got. I know that little 4 Plus set there is one of the newer sets for January. Mm -hmm. That little buggy's cool. I gotta put that together. I've got that one. Right, this will be a purchase one of these days. It's 55 bucks. I'll have to let my budget recuperate a little bit for I get that maybe set that big but Minecraft there's the space theme there's some Technic coming out in March oh man they look great I can't wait to see those the X Jet I really like I'm not paying 85 bucks for that thing just can't do it can't do it Ant Man is 24 here he's 20 in a lot of other stores and we got some new minifigures and there's the two new mechs. Rocket ship, that cool venomized green goblin, and then Sandman. There's some more Mario sets with Yoshis. And the oh, what do they call these? Rhino Renzors. Or Rambi the Rhino, is that one's name? Okay, I thought it was one of the things. Oh, that's right, they were Triceratops, maybe. I can't remember. Uh, what do we got back here on the end caps? Hmm... There's some Hot Wheels. Nothing really jumping out. That looks kind of cool. 76 Greenwood Vet. Hmm. Ah, oh, this thing's nice, the Firebird. 84, I was three years old. In 1984. Alrighty, what do we got here? Oh, the Chevrolet is nice. Oh, the 57, yes. It was 57 or 55. So we got a bunch of these Coca Cola cars. We got the King of the Road Shelby back there. Mm, nothing new or exciting in the little box cars there. No bigger scale die cast. Let's see what else they got down through here. This one got any Monster Jam? They've got a little bit. Monster Jam quantities have dropped drastically in my area. You don't see a whole, a whole lot of them right now. But you do see a whole lot of the um, Hot Wheels. For anyone who collects those things. Oh, this thing looks cool. A mod speeder. Got a cool paint job on it. Alright, not seeing too much. We're going to stumble back to collectors and see if we can find anything. If I do, I will show it to you. And if I don't, then I will see you at the next one. Uh, Cyclops.
Hello everyone, my name is Chris, and let's wrap up another toy hunting adventure here on The Man Collects. Wednesday toy hunt video. Um, as usual guys, thank you for everyone who has joined me here on this channel to celebrate the hunt here we had today. And then again, if you have made it this far in the video and you enjoy the content, make sure you've clicked the little like button before you exit the video to let YouTube know I'm doing a somewhat adequate job here on the channel. Speaking of my adequate job here on the channel, this Thursday, January the 11th, is my one year anniversary on YouTube. Uh, Thursday makes one year since I uploaded my first video. Is uploaded January 11th, 2023. Been trying to think of what I want to do to really celebrate that, and what I have settled on, I'm going to re-upload my first ever hunt video. Now, I'll do a little introduction at the beginning of it, but I'm going to play that in a live premiere this Thursday, January the 11th at 7 o'clock p.m. So, is it going to be a watch along? I'll be in the live chat so anybody wants to get on we can chat back and forth as we watch and you know make fun of my first hunt video on here I rewatched that video the other night when I got the idea to do this and I appreciate anyone who watched that video anybody who left a like and anybody who subbed based on that video because it was pretty rough but we can take a look at where I began and then you can look at my recent videos and hopefully I've made a little bit of progress but join me here January the 11th this Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a little watch along of my first toy hunt on my one year YouTube anniversary. But let's talk about the most recent toy hunt. How many stores you see me in, or where did you see me in this video? Well, we're still hitting Walmart's kind of heavy. I didn't put them all on this video. I didn't find anything in some of the ones I went to. But we're trying to find Vampire Robin from DC Multiverse. But you did see me in both Bristol Walmarts, the one in uh, Virginia, the one in Tennessee. You saw me in Target in Bristol, Virginia. Books a Million in Johnson City, Tennessee and Bristol, Virginia. Ross, Johnson City, Tennessee and Bristol, Virginia. Ross. A lot of stores in this one saw some good stuff in a lot of them, but what was the store of the hunt? What was it for this video? Well, for the second hunt video in a row, store of the hunt goes to Target in Bristol, Virginia. I went in there yesterday, which would have been Monday as I recorded, and they had a little bit. They didn't have a whole lot of the stuff we were wanting to see. I went back in there today, which is Tuesday, and they had a lot of stuff that I wanted to see. Uh, they had DC Multiverse, the two Target exclusives, the newest ones, Animal Man and Red Tornado. Uh, they had Mutt and Junkyard. They had the Iron Sheik and Jimmy Hart of the new uh, Elite Legends line there at Target. Oh, what else did they have? They had Stealth Suit Captain America, and they had restocked Spider-Man. They had the two versions of Iron Man. The one figure in that line I want to see, just to get off topic, is the War Machine. I haven't seen War Machine yet. Uh, I've seen a lot of other hunters find it. looks pretty cool. Hoping to see that. But then they had uh, Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters, and they had Fright Features Ray Stance. We didn't see him the other day when we saw the other three there, and they did have Egon as well. So all those new, exciting, sexy things makes Target in Bristol, Virginia store the hunt for the second hunt video in a row. Now, we got our store of the hunt talked about. Let's talk about the man's top three items of this toy hunt. We saw some stuff in this, guys, but I gotta tell you, I had a little bit of trouble picking a top three, just trying to find top three things that I thought would fall into this, but we got us a top three. So let's start with number three. Number three is a die cast that I saw at the Bristol, Virginia Walmart, and that was the Johnny Lightning Trivial Pursuit 1976 AMC Pacer. And the reason being for that, um, I don't think it was the same model car. I'm thinking that uh, Garth had a Gremlin. I can't remember in Wayne's World, but that looked like the car that Dana Carvey, his character, Garth Algar, drove in the Wayne's World movie. And I love Wayne. I used to watch the skit on Saturday Night Live. I've seen the movies back in the 90, 80s, maybe 90s. I don't remember when they came out, but love that movie. It reminded me of that. And again, it's one of those things that triggered nostalgia. Whether it was the same kind of car or not, it looked like it. Um, I didn't pick that up, kind of wish I had it, but that takes number three is that little AMC uh, pacer there, which reminded me of Garth Algar's car from Wayne's World. Number two, Ghostbusters, Fright Features, Ray Stance. Um, I love those Fright Feature figures. Again, I don't follow Ghostbusters, so I did not know those were coming out. Um, I saw three of them last week in that target. I saw Egon, Bakeman, and Winston, but no Ray. So we go in there today and we see Ray. Uh, Ray, I don't know how to really rank those. They're all pretty cool, but I like how Ray, you know, his ears pop out, his little goggles go up or whatever. Those Fright Feature figures, I loved them when I was a kid. I've still got all of them. I don't think I ever had Winston, 
But I know I had Egon Bakeman, and I still got my Ray stance somewhere. But it was cool to see that there in uh, the target in Bristol. And Ray takes the number two spot just for, again, triggering that nostalgia of toys that I had and played with when I was a wee kid collects. All right, that's going to lead into number one. What was the number one coolest thing I saw on my toy hunt? Again, we're going to find a way to get more than three figures into the top three because number one consists of two figures, and that is the McFarlane Target Gold Label Exclusives. Anyone who watches my channel knows I am a sucker for a Todd for Gold Label Exclusive McFarlane figures. I'm sorry, I like them, I can't help it. But they did have Red Tornado and Animal Man. Red Tornado was going to be a definite buy. I was really hoping I could find that thing in store. Um, I would like that character back in the 80s and 90s in DC Comics. I can't sit here off the top of my head and tell you what comic books I saw him in, but I know i got several with him in it. He's, an, I guess, more of, not really an obscure character, but not one of the main ones you think about in the DC classics. And I'm glad McFarlane did a figure of him. Animal Man, not going to lie, not very familiar with the character, but I saw it. It looked good, so we went ahead. I'm just going to tell you, they're here in the hall portion. You'll see them in a minute. But those two Target exclusive McFarlane Gold labels take the number one spot for this hunt video. I've now found almost all the McFarlane I'm trying to find. Still got to find the new collector's editions, the Batman is Green Lantern, and we still got to find Vampire Robin to round out the latest McFarlane's the man collects once. But those gold labels, it was pretty cool to find those in Target. All right, there we go. We got our top three. We got our store of the hunt. Now let's look at the toy haul. And I've got quite a few things here to show. Um, number one, we're going to show we just talked about. You know, we got Red Tornado. We got the Target exclusive there at the Bristol, Virginia Target. And they had three of these. We did find the one, of course, that I thought was in the best shape. There's your box art on the back. And this is the DC Classic line. Really like the DC Classic line that McFarlane's doing. I hope he continues this and we get some more comic classic characters. You know, I like the newer stuff. I like some of the movie figs. But for me, these old classic characters here, that's one of the best things he's doing right now, in my opinion. And then we also picked up the other exclusive. You know, we got Animal Man. And this is very popular right now. Everyone seems to want this little, I guess, what is that? A bear? Or some kind of weird otter cat bear thing i don't know what that is but anyways people are wanting him because of that and this comes from the human zoo uh, i guess storyline for animal man and there is his art on the back of his box so we got animal man and red tornado for the new exclusive mcfarland gold labels now one thing i picked up i did pick this up for a local friend who was looking for it but i'm going to show it because i still got it here with me until i get it to him we did get pick up the ray stance fright features figure for him now I'm in a, some chat groups on Instagram. I took a picture of this and posted it. And one of the guys let me know this thing right now is selling for like 80, 70, 60, 70, 80 bucks on eBay. Guys, don't do that. These things are going to show up in store. Don't pay $80 for something brand new that's like, what, 14, 15, something like that in the stores. I saw that and could not believe that. Uh, if anything, the last time the retro carded Ghostbusters came out, they peg warmed and it ended up for four dollars at Ollie's. Not saying that'll happen with these, but I would give it some time before I would start paying anything over retail on eBay. But I can't believe people are paying eighty bucks for this thing. But anyways, we'll get this to my little buddy here, and I'm going to charge him retail. I'm not charging him eighty bucks. All right, my next pickup from Target, and this was the only new thing they had in the collector section. I didn't film back there because I knew I was going to buy it, but I like these little Funko blockbuster movie case things. They have one of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. And right there is what it looks like on the back. There is a variant. I have no idea what it looks like. Um, I more than likely will open this to see if I might have got the variant, if I can figure out what it is, the chase one. But I love Lord of the Rings. This thing looked cool. And this is probably one of those in-the-moment impulse buys. But I did pick this up from the Target in Bristol. Again, the only thing they had in the collector section that was new today was they had three of these. All right, now, one place I went into and did not get to film because they were just stupid busy was the GameStop in Bristol, Virginia. I'll probably get back in there and try to get him on the Friday video, his store. One thing they did have there, this is one I didn't know if I was going to buy it from seeing the pictures. This looks a whole lot better in person than it does in the pictures. And plus, you got a mullet Superman. It's kind of hard to turn down a mullet Superman, especially when I'm trying to complete that mid-90s Kenner line 
where all the Superman figures pretty much have mullets. We did get Superman and Crypto there from the new McFarlane Collector's Edition line. The first one I've got in the new wave. This is a figure number nine there. Uh, he also has a variant, as everybody's aware of. But again, I'm not concerned with the variant for this one. This is the, probably the only one I will pick up. But there he is, beating up Doomsday on the back. So we did pick up Superman there from the GameStop in Bristol, Virginia. Now, one of the I don't remember which Walmart I bought these at, but I'll show these really quick. I did get four packs of the new Lego minifigures, uh, mini, or CMA collectible minifigures wave, uh, wave 25 there. But I'm going to open these up and see what I got. But I did get four packs of these to see what kind of minifigures I got. All right, my last item is a mail order that I put in. And this is another thing I'm trying to get to complete my Street Fighter, uh, Jada Street Fighter collection. I did get the Player 2 Ryu, uh, the variant that comes from Paul Smart Store. You can get this now on, on Amazon. You know, it's sold by Paul, Paul Smart or Paul Smart, something like that. Look up and see what it is. But you can get it on Amazon. He's for having them fulfill it for him. Um, it's, a, it's way pricier. It's $32 or 34 or something like that versus the 24 they are in store. But I want to try to be a completionist on this line. Now, if they start doing Player 2 variants of all the characters they put out, I'm not buying all that. But so far, this is the only repaint. And they did make it a, here it is, Paul, Paul Mart Store. Paul Mart Store exclusive. You can see there it says limited edition. So you know what to look up if you want to try to find this thing. But again, you can find it on Amazon. You can also find it on the Paul Mart Store website to purchase. Uh, they were still available when I ordered this one, which was last week sometime. But again, we got the Player 2 Ryu. And, and as of now, for all the releases, I think I have all the current releases for the Jada Street Fighter 2 figure series. And looking forward to what comes down the pipe for these things. All right, that is it. That is the toy hunt. That is stores the hunt. We wrapped everything up, so let's get into social media plugs for the man collects. Before I do that, one more time, don't forget this Thursday, January the 11th at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join me here on YouTube for a premiere video. I'll be in the live chat. We're going to do a watch along once again in my first ever toy hunt to celebrate my one year anniversary of being here with you on YouTube. Now, let's get into social media. Instagram. Where can you find the man collects on Instagram? Well, if you go to the description of this video, my about page on YouTube, or look at the splash here in front of you, you will find information on where to find the man collects on Instagram. So look me up on there and give me a follow if you choose to, trying to do what I can to get some content on there for you as well. And then the only other form of social media for the man collects is... The Man Collects YouTube channel. So if you are a first time viewer to my content, you've came back several times, you have yet to click that little subscribe button, consider clicking subscribe and seeing what comes down the pipe here on my YouTube channel. Almost 2,000 subscribers in just right out of a year, guys. I really appreciate everybody. I can never say that enough. Thank you, everyone, for supporting the channel, and I look forward to being here for many more years to come. But for now, I am signing off, and I will see you back here on Thursday for that premiere.